Hey, welcome back. Uh, change of scenery today. We are in my bathroom and I just wanted to do a really natural makeup look today. Nothing crazy. So I thought I would just film this in more of a laid back style. I'm going to be finally talking about the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Foundation Sticks. You all have been asking me to do this for like a month now. I finally got the right shade. So I feel like I can accurately review it and I also am very reminiscent of my 13 year old self right now I swear to you this is how I would wear my hair to school every single day when I was 13 I would literally wet it so it would be like stuck to my head like this and then hairspray it down so it was just shiny all day stuck to my head and then I instead of you know having like a normal elastic I had a scrunchie so um circa 2004 vibes right now anyways uh let's start out with some primer this is the Neutrogena prep and correct brightening primer now I have used this and you guys know I'm not a huge primer fan especially from the drugstore I just feel like they're always really just have like a heavy chemical smell and then they just leave like just a residue on your skin. I normally don't like drugstore primers, but this one has no scent whatsoever. It feels really hydrating and it absorbs fast. So A++ Neutrogena on that. Now, um, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Foundation Stick. My shade is 30 buff. I originally bought number 20, which is called Natural Ivory. It was just too light for me. So this is a play off of their original Hydro Boost Hydrating Skin Tint, which is a liquid. It comes in that bottle and it's got like a doe foot applicator. I love that product. It is like one of my favorites to use year round from the drugstore. So I was really excited when I saw that Neutrogena was coming out with you know a stick version of that so uh i've been using this for like i said about a month now but in my right color for about a week and a half and i'll definitely say that i don't like this foundation if i'm gonna be wearing a full face makeup look like if i'm actually gonna be wearing lashes or uh you know like more of a smoky eye this just doesn't really seem to be the foundation for that type of look. It's definitely just something that is going to be for those of you who like more of that just lightweight coverage every day, quick to throw on. Um, and I will say by the end of the day, I don't love the way it looks on my skin. However, I enjoy that it's quick to apply. I think it looks fine throughout the day, but it is one of those foundations that, you know, by the end of the day, eh, you're not really looking like you're hottest. It also has a really natural finish to it. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bit more dewy, like the skin tint, but it's actually just a pretty solid natural finish. It doesn't feel um, too hydrating. It doesn't feel drying or cakey. It just It's just kind of like there, if you know what I mean. So I would definitely say final verdict on this. If you just like light coverage and you need something quick to throw on on a day-to-day -day basis, especially this summer, I think it's going to be fine. But um, if you're planning on doing, you know, more with your makeup look and, uh, you, you know, a little bit more on the eyes, I just don't think it's the foundation for that. So I've actually been contouring and highlighting with this. Um, I've been using the number 20 shade, which was originally too light for me. It's kind of like an under eye brightener. And then the shade Coco uh, for my contour. Another um, point I want to point out is that the shade range sucks in this collection. Um, I don't know what it is. Like I feel like brands should know by now uh, with past experience from other foundation launches that went a little haywire that um you know the foundations need to start being inclusive and i will definitely say that this range is uh it's lacking i really do like neutrogena products most of the time i find that their products are just super natural and versatile but uh the 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 shade range it's just it's got to be better so um just wanted to point that out there there's just there's not going to be a color for everyone 
especially I'm not just talking on the dark spectrum even in the light spectrum I feel like the lightest color uh, you know probably for some people is gonna be too dark Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day and I wanted to hide under a rock because suddenly everyone is Irish, their grandfather is Irish, their great aunt is Irish, their family migrated from Ireland and I just, I can't, I, I can't trust you 100% unless you were just legit from Ireland like at this moment in this point in time. <laughs> I just feel like the actual Irish people look at Americans and are like, what are you doing? Like, stop. If you are truly Irish, please let me know your thoughts on the uh, scenario. I've rediscovered my Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush Palette and I used this in a video recently, forgot how much I liked it. So I'm gonna use the coral color today, I think, on my cheeks. I might mix it with a little bit of the nude color in the middle. Okay, this is actually really good. I've tried it a couple times. It's the Hydro Boost Illuminator from Neutrogena and this one's in the shade Moonstone. It's the only one I've had a chance to use so far and it is very reminiscent actually to me of the Becca Moonstone. It's very light. Uh, but very glowy at the same time. So I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and just kind of like pat that in. By the way, this is the Hourglass foundation brush that I've been using. Um, I just, since I don't have my brushes in front of me, I wanted something that was multi-purpose and this is actually a really good one. Even though I don't love the Hourglass uh, Vanish foundations, I do like this brush. Brows are just gonna be a little bit of Anastasia Brow Wiz and my usual uh, Glossier Boy Brow with some NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. So for my eyes today, I'm gonna go out on a limb. I don't really know if it's gonna look good, but I feel like that's the name of the game for my videos at this point. So we'll just see if it works out. I, I'm gonna take this uh, little eyeshadow palette that I made from MAC uh, a couple years ago. I don't know what the colors are. I can't really pop them out. I'll have to put the names down below. But as you can see, they're basically two almost identical shades. I don't really know what I was thinking here. Uh, but basically just like a little bit deeper than my skin tone. And so I'm gonna pop that in my crease. And then um, I've got an idea, so we'll just see. So Neutrogena has sent these Smoky Coal Liners and I have the shade number 50, Rich Plum. I don't know why I have to say stuff. If it has rich in the name, or like bling or glam, I have to say it like that, but the shade is Rich Plum. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and kind of use it as like a smudgy base, and then I'm gonna take one of the new caviar sticks, I think I'm gonna take the Intense Amethyst and do like a glaze over the top of this smudged liner. So let's just see how it works out. Okay, now that I have kind of laid down a base, I have the Intense Amethyst uh, Caviar Stick, and I'm gonna just, I think, take that on my finger. So I'm just gonna literally put a little bit on the back of my finger, 
and I'm going to use that to just go over uh, my lid. Okay, I like it. It's fun, but in a natural way. I'm gonna take some of this Moonstone shade uh, and I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. I'm just gonna do a touch of this liner on my lash line. And some of my favorite mascara right now, which is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. And I don't want to do anything dramatic with my lips, so I'm just going to use one of my favorite nude combos, which is Charlotte Tilbury's Iconic Nude Lip Cheat with the Marc Jacobs enamored glossy lipstick in sugar sugar all right guys i hope you enjoyed this quick little natural look if you have any questions for me feel free to leave them down below also let me know what you want to see for upcoming spring content uh, i'm a little just uh, like winging it now like doing what i feel instead of planning each thing out and i don't know it just seems like you all uh, have been liking the videos so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye